everybody, welcome back to E Cubed. Today's expression is especially for the men. And ladies, you can use this expression to your man, to your boyfriend, to your husband, to your father, to your uncle, to your brother, to your son, to any man. And the idea of this expression is to be a man. We can say, man it up. Man it up. Don't be a baby. Man it up. Be a man. So a great example would be in your house. Let's say there was a, ah, a cockroach. Oh, so disgusting. But the man of the house is supposed to kill the cockroach and throw it away. Flush it down the toilet, put it outside, do something. So in this situation, most men do not want to touch the cockroach, but we must man it up. Oh, <laughs> a cockroach inside. Oh my god, a cockroach. Ah. But outside, <laughs> A cockroach. <laughs> there. And now the cockroach is gone. Man it up. Be a man. Dad, I'm tired. Can we rest? Only a little more to the top, son. My legs hurt, Dad. Man it up, son. Man it up. That's right. Be a man. Don't be weak. Be strong. Be a man. Keep going. Go to the top of the mountain and then rest. Man it up. Yeah. There are many times when men must be men. But often, women are more manly than some men. Do not use this expression to the ladies, but you could, I guess you could say it to your sister. Come on, man it up. Be strong is the idea. But it is a great expression among guys. And if a woman says it to a guy, boy, that guy better man it up. All right, time for me to man it up and wash the dishes. Yeah. It's a man's job, too. Dad, I'm tired. Can we rest? Only a little more to the top, son. My legs hurt, Dad. Man it up, son. Man it up. Dad, I'm tired. Can we rest? Only a little more to the top, son. My legs hurt, Dad. Man it up, son. Man it up. Dad, I'm tired. Can we rest? Only a little more to the top, son. My legs hurt, Dad. Man it up, son. Man it up. <laughs>